the subtleties, the nuances for planning a wedding. Uh, there's a practice in Jewish tradition that uh, one breaks glass for a multitude of reasons at the conclusion of the ceremony. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to figure out how are we going to break glass when you can't wear shoes right. <laughs> uh, in there. So we I didn't were... want to take my new groom to the ER uh, an hour after we were married. My name's Neha Smith and I was raised Sikh. My name is David Smith and I was raised Jewish. We both celebrate our faiths together, so we do attend each other's um, temples, places of worship. Anytime that there is a special event, uh, we're very involved. We have found that we have to celebrate each other's faiths, that the, the things that we have in common, not necessarily the differences. So we, we find a lot of things that our faiths have in common. Well, and we were destined and ordained to come together. Okay. Uh, we have made it work. Uh, it started with communication, uh, mutual respect for each other's backgrounds and beliefs and uh, faiths. And so we're, I'm going to borrow a line from uh, our rabbi, Steve Gross, who said that God is like a light and all the religions of the world have a different view of that light, but it's still the same.